Hi folks, today we are going to be looking at the KNF Concept lightweight portable carbon fiber tripod. A tiny little extremely light tripod that is really really cool. Let's take a closer look at it. See the size difference there, pretty substantial. It fits in the side bag here. So let's take this guy out completely and undo these legs. And I, I do like these twists here. What these twists do to me, I've had the other ones, the snap ones, uh, they'll crack sometimes and you'll lose pressure. So when you close them, they'll slide, especially if you put a heavier camera on there, and that can be a problem. And these guys lock in place with these locks, very nice. So they push out and they push in to lock in place. You push it out, you can set it up, and they lock. Now they can go down, but once you lock them in place, they can't go up. That's so light, folks. That's the increments for panoramic shots along the bottom. Bubble level, plus 10, minus 10 increments. The S210 has the KF28, slightly larger and thicker. This one's the KF25 to keep everything small and more compact. Again, it's got the the 90 degree for your portrait mode, which is a very well built, solid head with no play. Again, that's the one of the keys that I'm always looking for in these heads is play. And then it's got the Allen wrench. If you do start to experience a little play, that's usually where you'll get it. Uh, this will start to get a little loose. You just tighten that and uh, you're good. Just so lightweight. Awesome job by KNF here with this guy. You know? Let's pull out some weight here and stick it on. See what we got going on here. <laughs> Straight to the big test. Straight to the uh, 150 to 600. I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna do some portraits. All right, so let's test it out. See what we got here. What kind of stability? That's six and a half pounds right there. Yeah. In between six and six and a half and it's holding. Let's try it at a totally different angle here. Try that angle. Yep, it's holding. Now, as far as stability, now this is low, okay? I'm gonna raise it up here in a minute. I'm just testing out the ball head and the overall stability of it with my maximum weight load that I'm gonna have on it. I think this is an extreme for this type of tripod, a lightweight, really portable, smaller, compact tripod. But I wanted to test the limits anyways. This, is, this, this small tripod is gonna be perfect for when I do portrait shoots and things of that nature and it's, it's so small and thin, and it's, it's got these little rubber cushions on the feet, which, which are gonna be great for, say, uh, you know, wedding uh, portraits, things where you're in like on hardwood floors or carpets or things like that, versus, say, the S210 tripod that I've got over here that I've got that camera on. That has the bottom where you can screw it up and actually get the cleats out. So that's more geared for, I'd say, outdoor, it's more rugged. This to me seems like more of an indoor slash nice day like today type of tripod uh it's i don't think it's necessarily delicate it feels pretty solid but, but anyways let's i'm going to raise this up see how high i can get it this is the maximum height i've got it up here and it looks like it is eye level for me i'm 510 uh so we got eye level uh the sturdiness is okay. Uh, it's, it's got a little bit of weeble with the six foot, or I'm sorry, with the six pounder on here. So yeah, this is holding very well. There's no play. Like I said, there is a little bit of wobble, but it's not horrible. So it can support this very, very easily. I don't see any issues here. When this is down all the way, this is very solid. Perfectly usable with the with this setup. Remote shooting here. Ah, okay, so let's come over here, remote shooting. So let's touch on a couple other features this guy has. One of which is the ability to turn, turn these completely around, flip it upside down, which I'll show you here. So before I do that, I'm gonna kind of bring this up a little. So what you do, you push all these in, like so. And then you have the ability to flip them up completely over the camera. 
and have the camera now shooting upside down, which I'll show you right here. Just make sure it's securely mounted, please. <laughs> okay, so we're upside down. So here it is upside down. Whoa, that gets loose. And then just like before, you have full range of motion here with the head to shoot really low to the ground and manipulate the camera in multiple ways. And I like this feature actually for when I get moving vehicles, I like getting low to the ground to get their wheels. I like using this to get, uh, I use it to get streams. When I wanna do a long exposure of a stream, I'll throw a ND filter on there and I'll get it real low to a stream and I can get that really nice close, the close nice angle of the long exposure. And you really need something like this to do that because you, the camera can have no shake, obviously, for long exposures. So you need something that's solid and that's stable like this. So that's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of uses for this. Uh, you know, that's just a couple that I use it for. So this is another feature that it does have. Now, I don't see any way when it is like that to actually lock these in place. So that's something to, th to think about. When you do flip it upside down like this, you lose the ability to lock these in place but usually you keep it pretty low anyways, and this, this is pretty nice. Here's the monopod leg. It's easy to determine. It's just got the foam on it to grip, and you just twist. And on this one, it blends in perfectly. It's got the, you'll see the difference between them. This one has a little orange right here. And this screw here is designed to go on the head. Uh, it's larger than your typical camera screw, the, the screw that goes into your camera mount. So you can't screw this directly into your camera. You need, this is, this is larger, so it needs to go in the head of this. And then it goes, and then you can put your camera on there like this. So you do have to detach the head of the tripod to use this. The other thing you could do here is if you want, you could detach this bottom pl plate right here, like so. And it will screw in here. The monopod will, and you, this whole sleeve will come out this whole sleeve comes out and then this unit right here actually turns into the monopod. So you can have that whole unit as the monopod. I think the strength of this obviously is the portability, the lightweight, it's, it's very solid. And again, one of the things I love about the k &F concept tripods that I've learned since I've started using them is that there's no play. There's everything solid, there's no play on any parts of them which a lot of the tripods that I've gotten have a lot of play in the head and it'll screw up your shot. So the fact that everything is really firm and tight means that you, you just don't have any of that camera shake and it's a really good way to eliminate that. So something that I really appreciate with the k &F Concept tripods. But that is it folks. I'm gonna wrap this up. That is the uh, k &F Concept carbon fiber lightweight travel tripod. I'll have that linked in the description below if you guys want to check that out. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. And it's it's actually, it folds up smaller than my, or the same size as my 150 to 600 lens. And it goes in the camera bag the same, the same spot I can use in the camera bag. So technically I don't, this can be transported internally in the camera bag, which is another huge bonus. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thank you for watching.